Hey guys, Nash here back with another ROM. So today we are going to talk about one of the most popular ROM called Paranoid Android. And now that ROM is back with Android Oreo 8.1. So Paranoid Android is quite unique ROM. And in this video, I will let you know if it's worth daily travel. So let's get started. So this is the kind of screen you get from very first boot and the default launcher here is pixel launcher with that gorgeous wallpaper designed for Paranoid Android. Even though security patch is not latest, it's from May 5, this room is not rooted so you will have to install magic yourself if you want to root this room. And guys the only reason I install this room is this new gesture feature which will be updated in the next update of this room which will be of course based on Android Pie 9.0. Now let's talk about the camera. It has custom paranoid camera which is quite different than camera apps you use. As you can see the user interface is different. Along with that you get image stabilization in video recording which can shoot up to 4K. Also you can record mute video if you want. Apart from that this room provides paranoid browser which is quite a private browser if you don't like to use Google Chrome. When it comes to themes, there are only two themes available. The first one is Pixel theme and the second one is Paranoid theme itself. In display settings, you can also enable sRGB colors. RAM management in this room is quite good. Multitasking in this room is really smooth. Also this room has its own dedicated wallpaper app and as you can see these wallpapers are pure gold designed only for Paranoid Android room. And unfortunately this room does not have any features and customization. In fact there is not even a status bar customization in this room. It's quite a simple room and it's focusing on performance rather than features. So Wi-Fi and Volti is working fine. I have been using this room for last two days. And I didn't find any lag or any kind of random reboot in this room. And if you want to stay away from Android Pie rooms which are quite buggy right now, then I think you should flash this room if you don't want that many features because more features comes with more bugs. And for OnePlus users, yes the dash charging is working and Alice slider is also working fine. Now let's talk about the battery life. I got around 6 hours of screen on time which is pretty good because normally I don't get those kind of battery life on my OnePlus 5T and when I was using this room I was watching YouTube videos and playing little bit of PUBG. Speaking of PUBG, again this room is very good for gaming, no lags or no overheating issues. And yet again if you install this room, in the next update of Android Pie, you will have these awesome gestures and that's the reason I installed this room. And as always if you appreciate my work, please like this video and if you want to download this room, all the links will be in the description box below. This is your friend Ness signing out and I will see you tomorrow. Ooh.